The hours are long. Reveille sounds at 5 a.m., taps well past 9 p.m., and the training is hard. There are no two ways about it. Why do they do it? Well, strangely enough, women's liberation has little appeal to these young ladies. Most Navy women feel liberated before they join. If anything, what they seek is the structuring Navy discipline gives to their lives. Then there's graduation, the day when a young recruit becomes a full-fledged member of the fleet. The last pass in review when her friends and family can share in her achievement. From Orlando, most will go on to further schooling and then the first duty station. Wherever assigned, they are secure in the knowledge that the jobs they do are an important, integral part of the Navy. They are needed. And that first assignment could take them anywhere in the world where the Navy has a base. From Yakuska in Japan, to Athens, Greece, from Holy Lock, Scotland, to Washington, D.C. Sue Krogan is a Navy lawyer. She entered the Navy right after law school. Why did I join the Navy? Well, mainly because I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to join a law firm. I looked around for, oh, any job that would be, would be a little different. And the Navy was my first choice, and I was lucky enough to get accepted. Well, in our office, we uh, mainly do research and write opinions in the form of letters, memoranda, to the secretary, to the CNO's office. And we answer inquiries from retirees, Navy people, uh, congressmen. I think the Navy has fulfilled most of my expectations. It's interesting. It's exciting. There's a camaraderie in the Navy that you wouldn't have on the outside, except in maybe a smaller law firm. And that I like. I heard he sang a good song, I heard he had a style, and so I came to see him, to listen for a while. Evangeline Bailey is assigned to the U.S. Navy Band. She is the first female musician in Navy history. In college, I was a voice major and a piano minor. Uh, I participated in the college opera workshop and things like that, and my family had a religious singing group. I've been singing all the time. It's nothing new to me. 
there seem to be certain fears that men have about women coming into any field that they've had along. I think they feel their masculinity is threatened. In the band, I think the guys realized that I was there just to do my job the best that I could, and they took me for what I was. The band teaches you the discipline you need for just about anything in life. Uh, I can't think of any experience you could have in life that you won't have in the band. Diane Colgan is a plastic surgeon at the Bethesda Naval Hospital. She joined because she liked what the Navy had to offer. She felt the Navy would give her some good practical experience. Well, I do a fair amount of reconstructive surgery, probably an equal amount of cosmetic surgery, uh, some facial fractures, uh, some, a lot of congenital anomalies. We do, we're still working on some of the Vietnam casualties, uh, and this is, of course, a long-term uh, procedure as far as they're concerned. Uh, that many of them have been here for a year uh, in and out of the hospital uh, in between the times of their reconstructive procedures. I think that the, the people here are something that uh, I don't think you'll find anyplace else. The, uh, they're grand to work with, and uh, the five years that I've been here is, uh, have been most enjoyable. Marianne Gardner is one of more than 2,600 Navy nurses who serve worldwide. She works in an intensive care unit. Like most Navy nurses, she appreciates the fact that she can move from one duty station to another without any loss in seniority or pay. The work here is not easy. It takes a special devotion to face the crisis situations these courageous nurses must handle. I joined the Navy while I was still in school for a couple of reasons. I had never been very far away from home. I wanted to do a little bit of traveling, see some other places. And plus, they helped put me through school. I enjoy the independence that you're given as far as, as working pretty much on your own with help, you know, if you want it, it's there. Well, I, I enjoy being a Navy nurse. I enjoy being part of the Navy Nurse Corps and working together with people who have come from all over the country. You have a sense of belonging. Without doubt, the Navy's most ambitious plans for women have been in the flight training program. Six young women have been selected to pave the way for future women in naval aviation. They are expected to perform the same as men. They go through the same classes, same drills, same exercises, and they fly the same planes. On May 10, 1973, Lieutenant Judith Ann Newfer became the first woman to solo in a Navy aircraft when she took off in a T-34 from the Naval Air Station, Softly Field, Florida. It was a very good feeling to know that I had actually taken that plane off and brought it back home all on my own. It was definitely a feeling of, of satisfaction, a feeling of having gotten over one hurdle. And I, I think it helped to uh, sort of build a little confidence, too, that, that we are in the program, we, we can fly the plane, and, and we are able to cope with, with the, the pressures and the, the rigorous uh, training that, that we're involved in. Our Navy's strength lies in the fact that individuals are given the chance to show what they can do, black or white, male or female, the opportunity is there. These women prove it. The ladies who wear the navy blue.